subscriber. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you are just now stumbling upon me for the first time, make sure to go and subscribe so that you can see what else I'm going to be doing here. But for today, we are making taco salad. This is a meal, again, that I eat whether I'm trying to track my calories or if I'm not. And it's super versatile. You can do really whatever you want with it. But I'm gonna show you how I typically make ours. You're going to, of course, start off with some kind of ground meat. Tonight, I'm doing ground turkey but you can use ground beef, ground chicken, whatever you've got is totally fine. Of course, you're gonna need some lettuce, use whatever kind you want. I'm going to be using both the romaine and the iceberg lettuce. You'll want to dice an onion. Most of this stuff now is just going to be what you're going to put on top, including those onions. But another topping that I'm gonna be using are these tame jalapenos. These are delicious. Well, actually, they are tame, but they're medium heat. So if you don't like a whole lot of spice, these are really good. I normally get the mild ones. So if you can find the mild and you really just don't like spicy stuff, those will be right up your alley. These are delicious. The sauces that I like to use are a light Catalina. Next, you'll want some picante sauce. I like to put this in my meat while I'm cooking it and on top. I am going to be putting some sour cream on mine as well and you can do Greek yogurt. I just personally don't like doing Greek yogurt when it comes to salads. So I go ahead and just opt for a light sour cream. You'll also want some taco seasoning. I'm going to be doing a packet and a half because I have this leftover and the meat that I have, I believe, yeah, this is a full two pounds. So this should be perfect along with my salsa that I have. Another option for sauces is Taco Bell sauce. They make this in the mild, fire, and the hot, I think. And they may have a few more, but I typically just get the mild. I may or may not use this. That's why I went ahead and grabbed it. It's a really good topping for your salads. What's a good salad without something crunchy to go on top? We are gonna be doing some of these tortilla strips and some crispy onions. I also forgot to mention, I got a new toy for Christmas. So Alex, if you're watching this, thank you. I got a veggie chopper. So I'm absolutely gonna chop my onions in this. And I think I'm gonna try to chop my lettuce as well. I don't know how well that's gonna work. I don't know what kind of other inserts are in here, but if it'll fit, it's gonna go in here. Let's get started. So first things first, get your ground meat and start browning that up. Once it is mostly done, you'll want to remove either the juice if you have turkey or the grease if you have ground beef. Mine was of course the ground turkey, so it was gonna be pretty watery. I just took a strainer and got rid of all of that excess juice that I didn't need and put it back in the container that it came in. Once the grease or the juice is out of your meat, go ahead and replace some of that moisture with a little bit of water if I were guessing, this was probably about a half a cup or so, something like that. I just kind of eyeballed it. I measure most things with my heart, but after that, you can go ahead and put in your taco seasoning. My turkey was being a little stubborn, so I went ahead and got my meat chopper and used that to break it into smaller pieces. I don't know why I didn't start out this way. I love that little tool, but go ahead and get all of that mixed in. And then once you're done making sure all of your taco seasoning is well combined, you'll get your salsa. And this is totally optional. This is just how I like to do it, but I do think it adds a little extra something. And that is it. Your taco meat is ready to be used. Hello again from me and Mr. Noodle. So now that my taco meat is done, I went ahead and prepped my veggies that needed chopped to get ready for the chopper. There's no way that this whole head of lettuce is going to fit. I don't know why I didn't cut that into quarters, so I'm probably gonna do that here in just a minute. But other than that, we're just going to dice up our onions and dice up our lettuce. And I've got my other lettuce as well, and so we're gonna do that with it. Let's start off with our onion and see how this goes. Dork. There's 
supposed to be something here. <laughs> okay, I got my little insert back. So now we're gonna try and chop this onion up. I can't really see it, let's see. That onion turned out absolutely perfect. Now I've actually got a slicer in here. I'm not completely sure if this is the right one, but we're gonna see what it looks like. Is doing nothing but making a mess so we're just going to chop this and leave a comment if you see exactly what I'm doing wrong because I want this to work I just it this is the first time I've used it so if you see what I'm doing wrong let me know In our house, the baby always eats first, so I'm gonna go ahead and get her plate made. I have learned since being a mom that if I put a little bit of ranch and cheese on top of something, my daughter will absolutely devour it. She loves her ranch and she loves her cheese, so she's getting some salad. And I don't know why I didn't show the cheese earlier in my ingredients, but your girl's also going to have some cheese on her salad. She's also going to get some picante sauce on the side just to introduce different flavors to her. And this is the ranch that I'm going to be using. This is just a package from Jack in the Box that we had left over. I wanted to make homemade ranch and I just did not have the time. It was a busy day. Last minute, I decided to go ahead and give her some crispy onions. She's had a few teeth come in, so I know she can handle them now. Next, I'm just going to cut up a tortilla, give her some blueberries, and some of these candy heart grapes. When I dice up her tortilla, this is the easiest way for her to eat them. She'll eat it otherwise too, but she enjoys it more this way. So I'm just gonna cut those into little bite-sized pieces for her to grab. And there you have it. That is my baby's plate. So this is toddler friendly as well. It's for the whole family. And now my salad. I don't measure my lettuce. I just measure that with my heart. For me personally, if I am measuring things like lettuce and onions, something that is not a dense vegetable, it just feels a little too far. So I am not tracking those. I will throw them in my app and just change the calories on them but for the hefty stuff I definitely get out my scale here I am just measuring out about six ounces of ground turkey that is just what I was in the mood for you can do more or less again measure with your heart you don't have to measure with mine this is just what makes me happy and there's our cheese that is what I'm using it's only 80 calories for a third of a cup it can really help cut down your calories if you get reduced or fat-free things, but sometimes it's not worth it. It just really depends on your taste. I personally like this reduced fat cheese. I'm going to do one serving of the crispy onions. And also one serving of these tortilla strips. And then I add lots of jalapenos. Before anybody has anything to say, y'all leave me alone about my baby fork. These things come in handy even after you don't need them. Next, I'm going to add one serving of this light cannellina dressing. And do not measure your picante sauce. It's like 10 calories for two tablespoons. There's no point but do measure your sour cream, but it's only 40 calories for two tablespoons. So very light in calorie and adds just that little extra something you need to your salad. 
And then I did decide to go ahead and add some of the Taco Bell sauce. It is zero, so of course you're not gonna add that into your calories, but I couldn't have the salad without it. It just sounded too good. And there you have it. That is how I make a taco salad. And there you have it, guys. That is it. Super simple recipe that will make everybody happy and keep you on track with your goals. I will have the calories and the protein on the screen somewhere. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you try it, let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.